Republican leadership approaches every battle preemptively surrendering, saying we can do nothing. A couple policy questions yeah. on the debt ceiling. As it relates to what you do as a U.S. Right. Senator, uh, what kind of concession can you get mm -hmm. from this president mm -hmm. on the debt ceiling? Well, you know, it's interesting. So what Washington leadership says, Republican leadership says, is at every stage mm -hmm. is we can get nothing. Mm -hmm. um, there's a basic dynamic happening in Washington where one side, Obama and the Democrats, they approach everything passionately committed to their principles, they'll crawl over broken glass with a knife between their teeth mm. to advance their failed big government principles. And unfortunately, Republican leadership approaches every battle preemptively surrendering, saying we can do nothing. Mm. And so when it comes to the debt ceiling, the position of Republican leadership is already that they want to give trillions in borrowing authority to Barack Obama in exchange for nothing, that they want to completely surrender. In fact, John Boehner is talking about cutting a deal with Nancy Pelosi and teaming up with the Democrats to fund 100% of Obama's big government agenda. Mm. Now, David, that, that makes no sense. If you look historically, the last 55 times Congress has raised the debt ceiling, mm -hmm. it has attached meaningful concessions 28 times. It is proven to be the most effective leverage, but it's not leverage if you surrender at the outset. And you know, if you look at the dynamic across this country, people are frustrated. They're frustrated because we keep winning elections and then the people we elect don't do what they said they would mm -hmm. do. And in my view, we need to stand up and fight. So we just had a fight on the continuing resolution and I asked for two things on the continuing resolution. Number one, that we fund all of the federal government where we don't send $500 million of taxpayer funds to Planned Parenthood a private organization not part of the government that's been caught on film apparently committing a pattern of multiple felonies. Mm -hmm. It is a federal felony with a 10-year jail term to sell the body parts of unborn children for profit and that by all appearances is what Planned Parenthood was doing. And then the second condition that I urge leadership to attach is we would not fund implementing this catastrophic Iranian nuclear deal. We're not going to allow $100 billion to go to the Ayatollah Khamenei to be used to fund terrorism in Israel and to be used to fund jihadists who will murder Americans. Now, in my view, if Republicans had stood together and said, we're defending life, we're defending the lives here at home of Planned Parenthood, which appears to be mm -hmm. a criminal organization, and we're defending lives, millions of lives across the world, stopping the Ayatollah Khamenei from getting a nuclear weapon. That's a fight we could have won if leadership had been willing to fight on the debt ceiling. Yeah. We should look to those as well. Those are natural things to look to. You know, I'll tell you another thing we can look to on the debt ceiling mm -hmm. is two pieces of legislation. One, Rob Portman's introduced legislation ending government shutdowns. What it would do is say in the event that a continuing resolution doesn't get passed, the government continues to be funded, but it ratchets down slowly over time mm. so that you have no more shutdowns. Now, the Democrats don't want to pass that. Why? Because they want to use shutdowns as a threat to bully Republicans into giving in. Mm -hmm. And there's another bill, a Bill Pat Toomey's introduced, that he calls the Full Faith and Credit Act. I like to call it the Default Pre Prevention Act. It provides that in the event the debt ceiling doesn't get raised, that we will always, always, always pay our debts so that we will never default mm -hmm. on the United States' credit. Now, every time the debt ceiling comes up, Democrats scaremonger and say, you're going to have a default on the credit. It's going to cause financial apocalypse. You know, I remember a couple of years ago, I was newly elected to the Senate, was doing Meet the Press with Chuck Schumer, and he was scaremongering about the debt ceiling. And I turned to him and I said, Chuck, how about we stand together and join together with bipartisan agreement on the Default Prevention Act? Let's mm -hmm. agree right now. We can make national news. Let's agree right now. You were telling the American people that defaulting on the debt would be a calamity for this country. Let's stand together. We can promise the American people there will never, ever, ever be a default. Shake my hand and let's join on it now. And no. utterly unwilling to do so. Mm -hmm. Why? because the Democrats like using the threat of a default to bludgeon Republican leadership into surrendering and funding every failed big government policy they have. Mm. And the reason the American people are so frustrated is we didn't win 
landmark tidal wave elections in 2010 and 2014 to send leaders to Washington who surrender every fight. You don't have to fight everything. You should pick your battles. You should be sure. smart. You should be strategic. But you should stand and pick fights that matter, that have bang for the buck. And right now, leadership, Republican leadership doesn't do that. That's why the American people are so frustrated.